Hey everybody, it is Sunday morning, it's 1028. We are going to go um, to a couple different Target stores. I ordered some stuff online for the art room. Hopefully the floor is going in this coming week. So I'm gonna go head out and get some stuff for said art room. Um, I ordered it from Target online last night to pick up this morning, which is super convenient. But then I got a message late last night that said, oh, so sorry, so sorry. Uh, we don't have everything at the one store. You have to go over to Beaverton. So Beaverton's farther away, not too super far, but farther away. So I'm gonna do Beaverton first, then we'll hit the one that's closer to home and then we'll come home. I'm only doing the one errand. I am gonna get some hair color while I'm out because I haven't found a new hair stylist yet, but I need to cover up my roots. So I'm probably gonna get some hair color while I'm probably in the Beaverton Target. So anyway, that's what my Sunday is up to. And then we're gonna be unpacking boxes, doing some caulking, you know, stuff like that when you have a new house. That's it. Nothing exciting. I'll be back. Okie dokie. So we picked up the one part of the order here at the Beaverton Target and I picked up some hair color. Um, I haven't colored my hair myself in a long time. Um, f not for any particular reason, just because it was more convenient to go to have somebody else do it. Um, and I don't have a hairdresser. Oh, hold on. That windshield wipers are making me crazy. I don't have a hairdresser here in Oregon yet. And the one I think I'm going to use is on maternity leave. It's a friend of my daughter's. And um, anyway, in the meantime, I need to get this covered. So I picked up a hair color that is, the color name is Espresso. Oh, no. You know, I haven't picked one in a long time. So we'll see what color it turns out. Okay, so this is the hair color I chose. So we're going to give this a try and see what happens. it's been a while since I've done this. I'm a messy hair colorist. I got dye everywhere, but I got it all cleaned up. And despite that fact, I got, I have the, I don't have very much staining on my forehead, which when I go to the salon, I seem to always have a lot of staining. The color, this is the color Espresso. Um, it is darker than I thought it would be, but I have to say, I kind of like it. We'll, we'll have to see what my husband's going to say when he gets home. Um, but yeah, I, d I double check the back of my head and make sure I like got all the spots and I think I did, or at least most of them, I think I did pretty good. Yeah, so we'll see how long it lasts, I don't know, but anyway, it's supposed to last like six weeks, we'll see if that actually happens. My roots are very white, so in three or four weeks they're going to grow out and show again, so we'll see what happens. All right, that's it for now, I'll be back. Hey guys, all right, so over the weekend, we went to a restaurant called Camp 18 here in Oregon. I'll link the website for the restaurant in the description below. The food's pretty good, the desserts are even better, and the place is in a log cabin, so the atmosphere is fabulous. And as you can see here from the photo, this is a dinner plate and a dessert fork, so you can get a size comparison. And yes, this is a cinnamon roll from set at camp 18. So my question is, which one is bigger, the cinnamon roll or Fred's head? <laughs> We're gonna cut it like a cake because you know that's a lot of cinnamon roll. <laughs> all right, that's it for now, we'll be back. I had to show you all. So that's just, these are 1 8 slices of that cinnamon roll. It's like a normal piece of cake. Holy cow. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning, October 1st, I think. And I'm in the car, so I actually know what time it is. It's 9.53 a.m. or thereabouts. Um, I have been out running some early morning errands, like taking the recycling in um, to the um, garbage company. We have, of course, because we just moved an excess amount of stuff, so I don't want to just leave it at the curb for um, the garbage men. There's an extra fee for that, so I'd like to save a couple bucks where I can. So I took it in, and I am going to go over to Fred Meyer. We need a few groceries and a couple of other miscellaneous things, and I just find it more convenient when I need more than just groceries to go to Fred Meyer. I don't think it's any more. In 1,000 feet. Keep right, then turn right. I don't think it's any more expensive than shopping at Safeway or something like that, so 
Anyway, that's what we're gonna get up to this morning and I'll be back. I feel like I've been to 20 different places this morning. I haven't really, but I feel like I have. I've been to one, two, three, four different places. Um, got lost twice with the GPS. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Um, it wanted me to make a U-turn in a spot where I'm pretty sure it was illegal to do so. Um, yeah, so that's just, it's been a fun morning. I think it's time to go home now. And, uh, I'm really loving the new hair color, by the way. Alright, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna unpack the car, I'm gonna have some lunch. I've gotta bring in the garbage cans. Yeah. More stuff to do. Alright, I'll be back morning everyone it is Tuesday morning um, October 2nd I only know that because I'm sitting in front of the iPad watching my friend Mike Deacon and his video this morning live in the moment a mixed media art journal page if you haven't seen it yet I will try to remember to link it in the description below um, anyway and he's messaging me right now because I had a thought and as I was watching his video anyway um, the house is coming along. I am waiting this morning on the window treatment installers to come and um, we have a number of windows that I don't think ever had window treatments on them from the previous owners, which is odd. Um, anyway, so, and some of them are a privacy or lighting issue. So we're having that corrected and they're coming today, uh, thankfully. And the flooring for the art room is here. I'm still waiting uh, to hear from the installers. I know they're waiting for one more part before they can come do the install. Um, I'm hoping they call me today. Uh, I may call them when I have a chance, if I don't hear from them after lunch maybe. Um, anybody who tells you that there's just not a million and one little things to do when you move, whether you lived in your old place for a year or two years, or in our case, 26 years, they're lying. There's just so much to do. And right when you think you've caught it all, you find that there's like five things you forgot. Um, insurance things and just so much, I can't even tell you. Um, we have a few different kinds of insurance um, like a number of people do, including, you know, we have our automobile insurance, but then we have a separate thing for towing and roadside assist assistance with a different company um, that has really good service. And um, we forgot to uh, tell them we moved. Thankfully, they knew we moved and they did a courtesy transfer. I'm not sure how that happened, but it did. Yay. <laughs> um, I called and talked to them this morning. They said, no problem, we got you. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's just there's so much and you know in the transition from moving house you have to worry about things getting lost in the mail and you know that includes bills and making sure you've paid bills right now we still own both houses so we have to make sure we've paid uh, the bills in both houses so <sighs> so much so much to do and I just yeah <laughs> anyway the house is coming together we finally in the downstairs part have no boxes. Yay. Um, my husband's office still needs to be done and his garage space. He just he needs time to do them. And of course, I need to put the art room together, but I need a floor. So I'm hoping that happens this week so that I can work on things this weekend. Cross your fingers. I'll keep you posted. All right, I'll be just back. Really quick before the window installer comes back in because I don't have his permission to put him on camera. But yep, he's here. Going to put up some window treatments. Woohoo! Cover up these big giant windows and a few others in the house that need window treatments. Fabulous. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, October 3rd, and it is 8.40 a.m. I only know that because I've already been up typing since early, and I'm in the car. I can see the clock. Don't get all excited and stuff. I'm out early running some errands, um, trying to get stuff done, trying not to get lost. <sighs> yeah, so anyway, um, I have some artwork I need, really, really need to do, so I've got a few supplies I dug out of some corners, and hopefully I'll be working on that later, but 
Yep. Right now I'm going to head on to Home Depot. I'll Good be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, October 4th. I only know that because I've already been on the computer for a couple hours this morning. Um, I don't have any idea what time it is. Around 10 o'clock, I think. The big giant squirrel just past the hood of my car in the forest. He's awful pretty. He's huge. Anyway, I've been working on a new project. I'm making a zine. Um, I haven't really done this before, so it took me a while to get the artwork done, which I did yesterday, and then took me a couple hours this morning to get the page laid out the way I think I want. It's a single sheet of paper that's just folded a particular way. Hopefully it's going to work out to be like that. Um, it's going to be an offer for supporting my channel. I don't know yet if I'm going to go through with creating a Patreon. You all tell me what you think um, about that. Or if I'm going to continue to use the PayPal tip jar, the link for which is already in the description below. And I have two people who've contributed recently and I owe, and you know who you are and I owe you both. Um, I'm working on it, I promise. Um, so anyway, um, let me know what you all think. And I think for $5, you'll get a digital from the zine and for a contribution of $25, you'll get a paper copy of the zine um, sent from me um, with a postcard. So um, let me know what you think of all of that as a way to like raise some money and support my channel um, and to be, you know, a contributing member of the family. Uh, my art is not only a part of who I am and yes it's a hobby but it's something that I need to use or would like to use to generate income. I'd like to be have an income Right now we're a one income family and while we're doing okay, it's not the same as having two incomes. Um, and all it takes is for one person to get sick or, you know, something else and, you know, everything goes out the window. So, yeah, anyway, that's where I'm at at the moment. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed out. We still haven't sold that California house yet. So, um, that's just proving to be difficult. Uh, the market has slowed down a lot since we started this whole process so uh, we just want to get it sold and get it done and over with so um, yeah, it can't happen soon enough as far as I'm concerned. That's it for the moment. I'm going to go try to find staples and get said copies of the zine printed because yeah I've got ten dollars in staples rewards. I'm going to get I'm going to use that to get some of these copies printed and we'll see how far I get and yeah don't really have any idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to give it a shot. So anyway, um, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. A very nice girl at Staples helped me get the zines printed and formatted. Formatted. Like, hello. Do I know how to speak English? I don't know. Uh, formatted onto 11 by 17 inch paper. So when I create this, this one's not cut yet, so it won't be an accurate representation, but... When I cut and fold said zine, and they're created out of one sheet of paper, they'll be this big. So there's the cover, there's a preview. So um, yeah, they're just done on simple copy paper, um, and they are printed by the girl behind the counter, not on an inkjet printer or anything. I don't have any idea if the ink will run if you collage with it. I have no idea. Anything will run if you get a wet enough. Um, but I've created it on a single piece of paper and so it's a blank on the back with the idea that it does tell a little bit of a story but also you can cut the images out and use them in your collage, if in your journals and stuff if you want. Um, so that's why it's created that way. And you'll get a postcard too. I haven't decided which image um, people will get and it may be chosen at random. Um, so I'm not sure. We'll see. There are a couple of images that are not included um, in the zine, and it may be that I put one of those in, or both of those in, on in postcard form with the zine. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. All right.
I'm just, I'm just looking. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. So anyway, I, I may even, yeah. So we're gonna work. This is the big piece of paper. I may even um, like put the other image in uh, myself. There's one that would go there, and there's one that would go like here. I may print them on my home printer, or have them printed on Vista at Vista Print, and like put them in. Maybe have them printed on a label. Yeah. So anyway, well, we're gonna work on that. I gotta go get some groceries now. I'll be back. I'll be back. It is Friday, um, October. What's the date? Is it the fifth? Fifth. Fifth. It's uh, evening. It's I don't know six something. Six twenty-one. The stove says. And uh, we've. I haven't been doing much of anything. I don't have any re good reason not to vlog before now. I was updating the website and doing some computer stuff this morning and then after lunch I just kind of plopped my butt on the sofa and other than doing a couple of random chores like taking out the garbage I did absolutely nothing. I got no excuse. So, you know, he worked all day, I did nothing. <coughs> Working all day. Yeah, we both worked on the computers this morning and then Working he worked the rest day. of the afternoon but I didn't. Working all day. Anyway, I am, um, we are, not me. <laughs> We're getting ready to go out to dinner to a um, one of our um, place, favorite places up here that we like to go at, uh, go to when we're, uh, we go out, the Thirsty Lion. And I'll link the, uh, the website for the restaurant in the description below, but a really cool place if you're in the area. It's a roaring good time. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sports bar. I think that's why he likes it. They have, But they have good food. So we're going to go do that, and I'll be back. Hey, guys. It's Friday, October 6th. I only know that because it's, oh, see, Saturday. I don't even know that. <laughs> it's the end of the day. It's like six o'clock at night. We're getting ready to cook dinner. We got the water fountain working. Woohoo! Fred helped. Say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. <laughs> We're babysitting Lily while the kids go out on a date and she tried to dig a hole, so she got in trouble, so she's in her crate. Mr. B didn't stop her. He didn't warn us. He did nothing. You know, typical snotty old man, so he's in his run. I don't know. What are you going to do? Right? Anyway, I spent the day uh, with my friends online. Um, we were discussing plans for next year's um, My Creative Year Facebook group and a couple other things for YouTube and um, fleshing out plans for the design team for my product line for my Etsy shop. I think we're on a good tier. We're ready to make some announcements next week. We're a little bit behind because of my move, to be honest. And a lot of the other rest of the people I um, collaborate with, we're all like, life has gotten in the way the last couple months. So I don't know what you're going to do. We're working on it. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I hope you've all had a great week. You have a great day. And uh, we'll see you next week. That's it for now. Have uh, Do something nice for yourself, maybe somebody else, because you deserve it and so do they. Bye, guys.